Let's appreciate him. He woke us up this morning. Father, we bless your name. We appreciate your name. Be thou exalted, mighty God. We give you all the glory for the privilege to be awake this morning to see this beautiful day. To you alone be all the praise. Let's adore his name. Let's worship him for the wonder double visitations. Let's thank him for the miracles. Let's bless his holy name for the wonderful testimony. Father, we thank you. You have dead want to sleep with us. We have come to give you all the praise. We magnify your name for strengthening us in the spirit. Let's thank him for the revival. Let's bless his holy name. Father, we thank you. We worship you every time you have studied us. To you alone be all the praise. We are growing in power. We are growing in the Holy Ghost. Let's thank him. Let's adore him. Worship him. Father, we thank you for the strength testimonies in our midst. Lord, we bless you. We appreciate you. We give you all the glory for the empowerment upon this platform. To you alone be all the praise. We magnify your name. Thank you, mighty God. Money by money, you strengthen on us. To you alone be all the praise. Thank him. Appreciate him. Worship him because you are growing in power. You are growing in the Holy Ghost. Let's thank him. Father, we thank you for what you have for us today. To you alone be all the praise. We thank you, Lord, for today again you will study us. Bless up your holy name. Today again we are growing in power. We bless you. We worship you. We magnify your name. Take all the glory. Bless up your holy name. Father, you are good. And your mercy endure forever. Thank you, Father, for a blessing today. Thank you, mighty God. We worship you. We adore you. We give you all the praise for the empowerment, the empowerment, the testimonies. We thank you for the strength happiness. To you alone be all the glory. And in Jesus' name, we have worshipped the Lord. You have a testimony again? Please meet the pastor this way. Hallelujah. Let's worship him today again. That is why you are called Jehovah. Thank you, Jesus. That is why you are called Jehovah. What you say you will do, that is what you will do. That is why you are called Jehovah. Lift your voice and say, That is why you are called called. Jehovah. That is why you are called. That is why you are called Jehovah. What you say you will do. What you say you will do. That is what you will do. That is why you are called. For what is done, that is why you are called. You are called Jehovah. We celebrate you, Jesus. That is why you are called. You are called the King of Kings. I am that I am. There is no one greater than you, Jesus. What you say you will do. Show what has ever come to pass. We give you all the glory and the praise today. That is why you are called Jehovah. Lift your voice and say, That is why you are called. That is why you are called Jehovah Nisha. Jehovah Shama. Jehovah Rohi, we give you praise. What you say you will do, what you say you will do, that is what you will do. That is why you are called Jehovah. Your name is Ah. You are Omega. God. 
never, true never, you never change. You're the Almighty God. We call you Jehovah. You are the glorious God. That's why we bow, we bow, we bow. One more time, say, say your name. Is you are Omega. You are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. You are the God of all flesh. Nothing is too hard for you. You are Almighty God. You are Jehovah. Glorious, glorious God. I bow before your throne. Hallelujah. I will rejoice and be glad in Him. I will rejoice and be glad. I lift up my voice to sing praise to the Lord. This is the day He has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. I lift up my voice to sing praise to the Lord. This is the day. Somebody lift your voice and return. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice in the Lord. Hey, lift up your voice to sing praise to the Lord. This is the day. I will rejoice and be glad in Him. I slept and I woke up this morning. I lift up my voice to sing praise to the Lord. For this is the day he has been. Lift your voice and rejoice. Lift your voice and rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice. I lift up my voice to sing praise to the Lord. This is, this is, this is. I will rejoice and be glad. I will rejoice. I celebrate your faithfulness. I lift up my voice. To sing praise to the Lord. This is lift your voice, lift your voice and rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice in the Lord. Hey, lift up your voice. To sing praise to the Lord. Hey, this is you are good and your mercy is forever. We rejoice in you, Jesus. We give you praise. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Celebrate his faithfulness. Hallelujah. Hey, you are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, you are good and your mercy is forever. Yeah, yeah. You are good and your mercy is everlasting. You've done so much for us. We give you praise. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, you are good. Your mercy is forever, Lord. Forever, Lord. Hey, you are good and your mercy is forever. Jesus, you are good. Your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Hey, you are good and your mercy is forever. Jehovah, Jehovah, we give you glory, Lord. Celebrating is the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high. Set you over. You are the most high. You are the most high God. Hallelujah. Heaven on earth. Put those hands together for the Lord, please. You may be comfortably seated. In a moment, we shall be rising up again to pray. This morning, we shall be praying to us. Father, in the name of Jesus, turn every winner to a vessel of honor in your hand this year by destroying the bondage of sin in the life of everyone. In 2 Timothy chapter 2, 
verse 21. The Bible says, if a man therefore purge himself of this, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified, and made for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work. That shall be your story this morning. In the name of Jesus, shall we rise up and begin to call on God this morning and say, Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus, turn every winner to a vessel of honor in your hand this year by destroying the bondage of sin in the life of everyone. Father, in the name of Jesus, turn every winner to a vessel of honor. Lord, in your hand this year, by destroying the bondage of sin in the life of everyone. Remember, we are praying passionately this morning. We are praying from the depth of our hearts this morning. We are praying using the access code, the name of Jesus, the name above every name. And we are saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, turn every winner to a vessel of honor. Lord, turn every winner to a vessel of honor. Turn every winner to a vessel of honor in your hand this year by destroying the bondage of sin in the life of everyone. That bondage must be destroyed this morning. Lift up your voice and call on God this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, Turn every winner to a vessel of honor in your hand this year by destroying the bondage of sin in the life of everyone. Lord God Almighty, we call on you this morning in the name that is above every name, the name of Jesus. We say turn every winner to a vessel of honor. Turn every winner into a vessel of honor in your hand this year by destroying the bondage of sin in the life of everyone. Lord, destroy that bondage, the bondage of sin in the life of everyone. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, turn every winner to a vessel of honor in your hand by destroying the bondage of sin. Oh, Lord, this year, every winner is turning to a vessel of honor. Somebody is turning into a vessel of honor. Even as we pray this morning, pray passionately. Pray from the depth of your heart. Pray, pray, pray. Father, in the name that is above every name, the name of Jesus, Turn every winner to a vessel of honor in your hand this year by destroying the bondage of sin in the life of everyone. Father, in the name of Jesus, turn every winner to a vessel of honor. Pray in your understanding. Pray with your spirit this morning. Lord, turn Every winner to a vessel of honor in your hands. Oh God. This year by destroying the bondage of sin in the life of everyone. Lord, destroy that bondage of sin in the life of your people. Let every winner turn to a vessel of honor by your hands. Oh God. This year, destroy the bondage of sin in the life of everyone. Lift your hands. Let's wave them to the Lord. Let's appreciate him this morning. The Lord has heard us. Father, we are grateful. We are thankful. We give you praise. Thank you for answer prayers. In the name of Jesus. Please be seated. heaven on earth. Next, we are going to be rising up to pay, pray for 
everyone expecting miracle babies in this church will be praying unto our father saying father in the name of jesus let everyone expecting miracle babies in the winner's family this year be visited with their miracles after the order of sarah genesis chapter 21 you remember verses 1 to 6 and the lord visited sarah as he has said he did unto her as he has spoken and he conceived and bear Abraham his son and the old age at the set time that the Lord has spoken. And you remember the testimony of Sarah in verse is, God made me to laugh so that everyone that here will laugh with me. Let's rise up on our feet and let's begin to make this prayer and let's begin to cry unto God. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let everyone expecting miracle babies in the winner's family this year be visited with their miracles after the order of Sarah. Are you praying? Are you praying with words of the Lord in your mouth? Let's begin to pray. You remember, remind the Lord God Almighty. We are the one that he spoke to at the beginning of the year. We are the one that are in the company of the evilies. And he says, uh, in the evilies, things that cannot be permitted here will not be permitted here. Let's begin to pray to God. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus let everyone expecting miracle babies in the winner's family this year be visited with their miracles after the order of Sarah in the name of Jesus Christ. We are the group of people that the Lord spoke to, even as he spoke to Sarah. Same, everyone shall be settled. It is a year moment. Everyone under the bondage of barrenness shall have it broken. Everyone expecting baby shall be joyful mother and father of children. Father, in the name of Jesus, according to what you have spoken to us as a prophetic family worldwide, let everyone expecting miracle babies in the winner's family this year, let them be visited with their miracles after the order of Sarah in the name of of Jesus Christ, let everyone expect him. Miracle babies in the winner's family. Lord, this year, let them be visited with their miracle after the order of Sarah. Those who sit in heaven, he said they shall love. Those who sit in heaven, he said they shall love. Let everyone's Isaac that will cause laughter, that will make every other person to be laughing with them. Let it happen, Lord Jesus. We pray in the name of Jesus. Let everyone expect him. Miracle babies in the winner's family this year. Let them be visited with the miracles after the order of Sarah. You visited Sarah as you have said you did to her. As you spoke, he should conceive and bear Abraham a son in old age. But at the same time, this year is the time that you have set for your people. This year is the year you have set for your people. It is the year of settlement for everyone expecting miracle babies. Therefore, do unto us as you have spoken. Do unto us as you have said after the manner of your visitation to the members of this family. Jesus Christ, we ask, let everyone expect miracle babies in the winner's family. This year, let every one of them, now remaining, be visited. Are you pray from the depth of your heart? It's going to be shout of joy with every such person by virtue of our prayer this morning. As we sow a seed in the life of everyone that is expecting miracle babies, are you pray from the depth of your heart? Is God hearing your word? Is God hearing your word? Make sure you are not much reward. Just remind him. Father, we give you praise. Let's begin to appreciate him right now. Let's give him quality thanks. Lift your hand to Jesus. And magnify his holy name. Why? Because we know we have prayed and he's answered us. In the name of Jesus Christ we have prayed. Please put your hand together for Jesus. Heaven on earth, advancing his kingdom this morning by praying 
Father, in the name of Jesus, let the Holy Ghost continue to move in this church, resulting into massive ingathering of multitudes into all our services. Acts the 5 verse 14. The believers were the more added to the Lord daily multitudes of both men and women. That will be our testimony in the name of Jesus. That's upon your feet. Lift up your two hands to heaven. We are praying, Father, in the name of Jesus, let the Holy Ghost continue to move in this church, resulting into massive ingathering of multitudes into all our services. Lift up your two hands to heaven. Lift up your voice to the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the Holy Ghost continue to move in our services, in our church, resulting to massive ingathering of multitude to all our services. This is your will, Lord. This is your promise, Lord. According to Isaiah chapter 2, verse 2, it's the time for the multitudes to move in. Therefore, we ask by the power of the Holy Ghost, let this church continue to experience, like never before, massive ingathering of multitude, of both men and women from everywhere, into your church, compelling the feeling of the church everywhere. Father, do it. Do it because it's your promise. It's a season for the flowing of men from everywhere into your sanctuary. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the Holy Ghost continue to enforce, to enhance the movement of people massive, massively, massively, multitudes moving in of both men and women into our services, midweek service, Sunday services, special services. Let the movement, let there be a flow, let there be a massive flow like we've never had before. A massive flow like we've never had before. Massive flow like we've never had before. According to your word. Lift up your voices. Lift up your hand. Let's pray intensively. Let's pray intensively. Those who travel in prayer will prevail with answer. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the Holy Ghost continue to move in this church resulting into massive in garden of multitude of both men and women into this church is our season of flow of men flow of men men searching for your word men seeking lively solutions to issues lift up your voices lift up your hands pray the holy ghost zezizia agi parasekota agasos ozaya marakle kotosasa exalt your mountain According to your promise, liparase keta lakata, flow of men, flow of women, zezeze zosa zasa zapa lakle keto badaba, rushing for the Lord, rushing for the Lord, me prakle koto zaza zaza, lift up your hand, pray in the Holy Ghost, pray in the depth of your spirit, pray with fervency. Pray the kosher da pratak like a tosa zeza zaza zabra kadada baya kada. Jesus, me zopra kleke tata tarawa, me sekra bala. Let multitudes flow in. Beginning from this week, let there be massive inflow like we've never had before. Massive inflow. This is your agenda. This is your promise. Until everywhere be feel, until every sinner on the street of Canaan, altar, everywhere be saved. Many are yet to be rescued, Lord. Move them in by the power of your spirit. Pray in the spirit. Thank him. Thank him. Wave your hands to him and magnify him. Wave your hands to him and magnify him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. In Jesus' precious name. And all the saints shout a louder amen. Please take your seat. heaven and earth. This morning is time for personal supplication. Personal supplication. And this is the time when you have the privilege to take
your personal issues to God in prayers. And remember, at this time, you are praying for yourself, and you're also remembering others who are in need, and you want to table such needs before the Lord. And as we do so this morning, remember the word of the Lord in Psalm chapter 54 and verse 2. Psalm 54 and verse 2. When you cry unto God, God will hear your prayer. He will give ear to the words of your mouth. This morning, God will hear you. Please rise up on your feet right now. Lift up your voice and begin to call upon the name of the Lord. Make sure you take words to God in prayer. Don't mutter words, but rather take words clearly in prayer unto the Lord concerning such personal issues of your life. Pray confidently, pray in your understanding and pray in the spirit. Remember, God is giving air unto your prayer this morning. And as he, do, as he does that, you will return with your own testimony. Today is your day for a turnaround. Lift up your voice and begin to pray from the depth of your heart. Make sure you are praying. Pray fervently. Take words unto God. Today is the first covenant hour of prayer for the week. What to do with the first has the Lord to do with the rest. Lift up your voice higher and higher. You must return with a testimony this morning. You are praying using the access code of the name of Jesus. Pouring out your soul unto God this hour.
Make sure you are praying. Don't look around. Two more minutes to go. Lift up your voice fervently in your understanding, in the spirit. You are praying for yourself. Pray for others who are in need. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Take advantage now of the day of the morning. Shall we rise up on our feet right now, everyone? Let's begin to give thanks unto God. God has given air to your prayer this early morning. Thank him, thank him, praise him. Lift up your hands to God in heaven. Magnify his name, give him praise and glory. We serve a God that answers prayer. Is somebody thanking God at all? He's a good God. God has given air to your prayers this morning. He has heard you. Father, we give you praise and glory. Thank you for answered prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Shout aloud loud and confident. Amen. Please be seated. Heaven on earth, it is testimony time. Please, let's be attentive to these documented testimonies. Number one, mysterious sickness healed during wonder double. God has proved to me that he's indeed the greatest physician of all. I was afflicted with a mysterious sickness for so many years. It was so bad that I spent so much money in seeking for medical solution from one specialist hospital to another. But the sickness kept on getting worse, even to the point that I became frustrated and began to wish for death instead. However, when the Wonder Double Church growth agenda was declared, I decided to use the remaining strength in me to engage in soul winning for the kingdom of God. I also spent a lot of time praying privately that God will establish the first timers and new converts in the church as they come. But little did I know that God has a healing plan in store for me. Suddenly I noticed that all the pain I used to feel in my body were no longer there. To the glory of God and to the shame of the devil, that was how God supernaturally healed me. The sickness suddenly and miraculously departed from my life, never to return again. I now walk in a brand new order of strength and vitality. Certainly, it pays to be committed to kingdom promotion agendas. May his name be praised forever. Sister Ruth D.N. Number two, financial breakthrough via so winning endeavor. I have come to return all the glory to the God of Wonder Double who has put a new song in my mouth to sing. Before now, things have not been very well with me, my family financially. Sometimes, we even have to borrow to pay our bills. However, when the wonderful prophetic agenda was declared during the midst of the year, I keyed into it with all my heart, along with my family, especially after God's servant expanded, John chapter 4, verse 36, where Jesus said, He that repaired, receiveth wages. That God was said to suppress everyone that will engage wholeheartedly in winning souls into his kingdom with unprecedented financial fortune. Those words entered into me, and I resolved within me not to miss any of the Saturday schedule for the outreach. I went all out to hunt for soul for the kingdom of God, not minding what anybody might say. Towards the end of the midst of the year, the God of wonder double visited me with huge financial breakthrough. I got a contract I did not expect would ever be possible. Today, I no longer beg to survive. I and my family now walk in influence through the visitation of God. Indeed, the God of Wonder Double is real, and He truly rewards those who labor for the advancement of His kingdom. To Him alone be all the glory. Brother George A. Let's be on our feet as we give thanks to God for this wonderful testimony to the glory of God. Let's worship Him. Let's give Him praise. 
Father, we thank you. We worship you in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Lift up those two hands again. Give him thanks and praise. It's surely a reward of them that diligently seek him. Celebrate God right now. Somebody's story is changing also. After the other of the testimonies we've just heard. Blessed be your name, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have given thanks. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have given thanks. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. And please, you may be seated. The righteousness of thy testimony is everlasting. Give me understanding and I shall live. That was the cry of the heart of King David. Psalm 119 and verse 144. The righteousness of thy testimony is everlasting. Give me understanding and I shall live. That is to say, every testimony has capacity to reproduce themselves everlastingly. They have capacity to reproduce till Jesus returns. Every testimony you understand and desire and engage in the process that gave back to them, God is saying they are bound to reproduce in your life. Bound to reproduce in your life. The righteousness of their testimony is everlasting. Give me understanding and I shall live. I'd like you to continue to pay very serious attention to testimonies. Because they are the direct interpretations of the word. Testimonies are direct interpretations of the truth. Testimonies are direct validations of the truth. And every testimony is prophetic in nature. Every testimony is thus said the Lord to anyone who is interested. Every testimony is a thus said the Lord. To anyone that is interested. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Revelation 19 and verse 10. We need to keep paying rapt attention to testimonies. He said, I engage the remaining of my strength. And I didn't even know when he took away my sickness. Suddenly, me that was wishing for death. Now I'm bouncing a new order of strength because I engaged in kingdom advancement requirement as declared by the word of the Lord. And I'm free. Free forever. The good news is that God is still here. He said to me, I didn't tell you I'm visiting you for two months. No, I said I'm visiting you and I'm here until when you don't want me again. I'm here until when you don't want me again. I, the God of wonder double, is visiting you. He didn't say I'm visiting you for two months. No. He came down and visited Israel. Therefore, have I come down. I saw you in struggles. I saw you suffering. I've come down. To deliver you from the land of Egypt. And he came down and stayed on. Exodus chapter 40 and verse 38. And the Bible said, and so it was, that the cloud of glory was upon them by the day, and the pillar of fire by night, till they got into the promised land. Exodus 40 
and verse 38. He came down, bring them out, and won't get out of that place until he brought them in. He has come to bring us to a promised land. The heaven on that realm of life, as he declared it for the year, he has come down to bring us in there. Begging to survive no more. He said, I heard that he that is repeat receive it wages. So I gave myself to it. And God paid me. Now I'm free from debt. Now we live in affluence. When? Just within two months. So that word entered in, into me. And I keyed into it with all my heart. Along with my family. And now what I could not imagine has taken place. Heaven has come down to replace my earthly struggles. Somebody else is jumping in there right now. Now, this week, we'll be looking at the following lines. Only those who travail in prayers prevail with answers. Elijah was a man of like passion. He prayed earnestly. He didn't pray casually. He prayed earnestly that it should not rain. And didn't rain for a space of three and a half years. He prayed again. And the heavens gave rain. James chapter 5 and verse 16 and 17. We cannot prevail in prayers with a casual approach. Is anybody in the studio... If he's not asleep, he should wake up and put those things on the line. We cannot prevail in prayer with a casual approach. Prevailing prayer requires that we engage with our entire being. The end time church is ordained to prevail in prayers and that answers to prayers will be a dragnet into the kingdom as the people see answers to prayer they are drafted into the kingdom. You remember the story let us go speedily to pray before the Lord. I will go also. Yea, many strong nations we come to Jerusalem to seek God. How? Because they have seen the impact of answered prayers. Very importantly, the end time church is ordained for overflow dimension of church growth. The Bible said, and many people shall flow. Today we talk of church growth God's agenda is church influx. Influx of souls. People flowing in droves into church. People flowing in droves into church. Micah chapter 4 verse 1 and 2. It shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established on the top of the mountains and shall be established on top of the hills and all nations all people shall flow into it. All people shall flow. And many nations shall come and say, come, let's go to the mountain of the house of the Lord, that he may teach us his ways, and we walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall proceed the law, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. So, the end time church is ordained for overflow dimension of church growth. And that is why the end time church must be an overpraying church to make it happen. Glory to God. He said, you can bath a nation at once from the prayer altar. You can do what? Bath a nation at once. That's what happened in the upper room. You can bath a nation at once. 
from the prayer altar. Before she traveled, she brought forth. Before her pain came on her, she was delivered of a man child. Who has heard such a thing? Who has seen such things? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? Or shall a nation be born at once? For her son, as Zion, traveled, she brought forth her children. That is a supernatural dimension of church growth is generated from the altar of prayer through travailing prayers. Because when you travail in prayers, you prevail with answers. When you travail in prayers, you prevail with answers. Now, we are not speaking to God in prayers. Charismatics, you get to know this. We are invoking divine interventions in prayers. We are not speaking. It's not like you pick a phone. Hello, how are you? This is me speaking to you from Nigeria. I'm here in Ota. Are you okay? What of your father, your mother? No. We are invoking. When I cry, then shall my enemies turn back. This I know because God is for me. We are invoking Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me. That's why the charismatics are in crisis. The thing is, um, uh, you know, uh, communication art. Oh, my father, I thank you. You are so good. Amazing. Wonderful. No one like you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I'm sure you like my language. We are invoking divine intervention. Check through all the prayers that God answers in scriptures. They were no casual prayers. Remember now, oh God, I have walked before me with a perfect heart. <laughs> He said, Isaiah, go back, tell him. The matter is settled. The matter is settled. But when you say that somewhere, I just thank you, God. Oh, sure, you've been so good. Oh, yes. I, I learned how to speak when I was in the um, United States of America. I was there for about 28 years. I'm not speaking like these other village people who are around here. I wanted to enjoy my communication skill. Jesus, I just thank you. I thank you. And you just enjoy the communication. But your crisis remain. Wake up! It's not every prayer that God answers. Only those who travail ever prevail on the altar of prayers. We must learn to travail in kingdom advancement prayers if we must see results. Therefore, we're looking at understanding how to prevail in prayers. In our brief exhortations this week, and I believe it will be the beginning of a new realm in your prayer life. Yeah. After you have prayed, you will know, you will pray to the point you know that God has had you. Not to oh God, I'm still coming back tomorrow. You pray to the point where you know God has had me. So, first, to prevail in prayers, we must engage our heart to secure divine intervention as Hannah did. We must engage our heart. For you shall seek for me and find me 
where you shall search for me with all your heart. Jeremiah 29 and verse 13. The travail begins from the heart. You shall seek me and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart. Isaiah the prophet said in Isaiah 26 verse 9, With my soul have I desired thee in the night, and with my spirit within me will I seek thee early. For when thy judgments are secured from the altar of prayer, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. Glory to God. Prevailing prayers begin with engagement of our heart in prayers. Somebody is assessing a new realm in his or her prayers right now. In 1 Samuel chapter 1, numbers 13 to 19, we saw how Hannah prayed. She was traveling from within. Now, Hannah, she spake in her heart. Only her lips moved, but her voice was not heard. Therefore, Eli thought that she had been drunken. Put away your wine from you. How long will you be drunken? And Hannah said, no. I have not drunk. I'm a woman of a sorrow. I have not drunk neither wine nor strong drink. But I have poured out my soul before the Lord. So, prevailing prayers is all about pouring our souls unto the Lord. It's not speaking fine grammar and then... Um, you know, trying to impress God with your phonetics? Wasting time. No. Prayer is a raw invocation of divine intervention. Raw invocation of divine intervention. You are not trying to impress nobody. You are, you are out to invoke divine intervention. You are out to prevail. I won't let you go. You must change my story today. And the Lord remembered Hannah. And Hannah conceived and brought forth Samuel. He said, because I have asked him of the Lord. Amen. Testimony of prevailing prayers. His name shall be called Samuel. Because I've asked him of the Lord. There are people here today, your Samuels are just about to be diseased. As you engage your heart in prayers and not trying to impress people around you or trying to impress God with your language, with your communication arts and communication skills. Raw invocation. Of divine intervention. That's what prayer is. And it begins by engaging the heart. He said, I will restore health unto thee. And heal thee of all thy wounds. Because they said, this is Zion that no one seek after. <laughs> I will yet increase you. Now you can see. All of those things are mentioned. And then in verse 21, who is this at, that engage his heart to seek unto me? Say the Lord. Glory to God. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 21. So engaging our heart in prayers will result in explosive testimonies. Testimonies of church growth. Testimonies of restoration of health. Testimonies of breakthroughs. For they are noble shall be of themselves. He said, and their governor shall come from the midst of them. And I will cause him to draw near. I will show that it's my favorite. For who is this that engages his heart to seek unto me? This is going to be a week of weeks for you. 
Because every time you stand in the place of prayer, engaging your heart, groaning in your soul to invoke divine intervention, you shall never be disappointed. Stand to your feet, everybody. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We're going to be praying, saying, Father, strengthen me with might in my inner man so I can travel and prevail on the altar of prayers. How many want to pray that prayer? Strengthen me with might in my inner man so I can travel and prevail on the altar of prayer. Go ahead and pray, everybody. Go ahead and pray. Not upset-minded prayers. Not casual prayers. Engage your heart. Send me with might by your spirit. So I can engage. So I can travel and prevail on the altar of prayer. Somebody's praying. Lift up your two hands and pray. Pray with all your heart. The catastrophe here. Send me with might by your spirit in my inner man so I can travel and prevail on the altar of prayer. No more casual approach to prayers. No more absent mindedness in prayers. Father, send me with might by your spirit in my inner man so I can travel and prevail on the altar of prayer. Rekota se suru alesha, barabata kito sirabala, beketo zizara. This must be a week of new beginnings for me. Rabe kete to shida, ekra kato sazire, braba rekota shishara, be boloko ta beleketa rekota, embra bayata rotekori aleba. Babalato Cicere, Berote Shagarada, Berote Shagarada, Rakteness or Rescanatosa. Send me with might by your spirit so I can travel and prevail on the altar of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, send me with might in my inner man by your spirit. So I can prevail and prevail on the altar of prayer. They get to Sarah to pray with intensity, to pray with concentration, to pray with all my heart. Strengthen me with might by your spirit in my inner man. So I can travel and prevail on the altar of prayer. I must get true to your eternal plan for me this year. Heaven or not must become a reality for me this year. Heaven or not must become a reality in all areas of my life this year. Strengthen me with might by your spirit in my inner man so I can travel and prevail on the altar of prayer. No more casual approach, no more absent mindedness in prayers, no more effort to impress anybody with my communication. Father, send me with mine. Oh yes, he answered prayers. The God I serve answers prayer. Only Jesus answers prayer. Come and give him thanks. Brand new day. Amen. Can I hear you say, I'm not going to be among children playing in the marketplace. Every time on the altar of prayer shall be real business time for me. I'm not praying for praying's sake. I'm praying to prevail. I'm praying to prevail. I'm praying to get answers. I'm praying prayer that must be answered. No more casual approach. No more absent-mindedness. I serve a God that answers prayer. I serve a God that answers prayer. I'm not a spiritual playboy. I'm not a spiritual playgirl. I mean business with my God. I mean business. It's the source of my help. Hallelujah. Well, watch out. It's a new order of grace on your life right now. Oh, yes, he answered prayer. Oh, yes, he answers prayers. Celebrate his faithfulness. Oh, yes, he answers prayers. The God 
shows how quickly God responds to prayer of intensity. Looking for a house. And the Lord said to me, but you've never asked me for it. And I said, Jesus, this house is delivered today in the name of Jesus. In two hours we got it. How many hours? There are issues around your life that God is here to hear from you. You have been mentioning it to him. You have not been invoking his intervention. You have been mentioning it. Father, you know I need a job. You should know that. You should know. God, you should know. He said, well done. Okay, I know. You done. <laughs> Lord, you hate that your people be idle. You challenge the people. Why stand ye I do all the day long? It is also written, He that does not walk, let him not eat. And you have committed yourself to provide for me on daily basis as a member of your household. Therefore, today, put my hand on that job. Father! That's how to invoke. Amen. Is somebody getting it now? It's not the length of your narratives. Father, you say, you say, yeah, Father, you say, Father, you say, that's not it. Are you invoking or merely just narrating? Now you say, I narrate everything. You say, okay, I've heard you. You read so well. You are well learned. I mean, I enjoy your speech. But is that what you need? He stood still when Bartimaeus was groaning. He said, call him here. Call him here. All the others were walking with him casually, just going after him. You are just enjoying the magic. You know, in those days, you see magicians in the village. You will be running after him. Nothing was imparting on them. Bartimaeus said, who is passing? He said, Jesus! They said, quiet. We are not talking about people like this. He said, what? He cried yet more. Jesus! He said, Wait. Bring that mouth to me. He will call you. He will call you. Particularly as you travel in kingdom advancement prayers, 
He will deal with the issues of your life without you even knowing when it happens. It's your tongue. This week shall be your most spiritually resourceful week. Everything you set your hands to do, have them pray, will be at heaven's frequency. No more struggles in your life. It shall be an error-proof week for you. In the name of Jesus. Most it shall be a week of testimonies. The anointing of the Lord that came upon you yesterday will keep generating testimony. So shall it be. Well, God is still there answering prayers. Yesterday we had 10,862 above the previous Sunday. We had gone far beyond the peak of wonder double time because the wonder double God is still here. Amen. So this week, divine additions is attending to your endeavors. This week, divine additions will be attending to your endeavors. So we are still on, reaching out to the lost and praying, traveling and prevailing prayers for God to touch the multitudes that are in the valley of decision. Say with me, multitudes are still in the valley of decisions. Until we clean up the streets, the going continues. Until we clean up the streets into the church, the intercessions continues. Can I hear your amen? Yeah. Nobody ever regrets investing their time, energy, and resources in advancing the kingdom of God. You shall not regret. Yeah. Others are testifying. You must testify. Yeah. All you need is to engage your entire being in doing whatever you are doing, not casually, not absent-mindedly, not religiously, but in truth and in deed. And God who sees your investment in secret, he will reward you openly. Yeah. The week is declared the week of salvation yeah. for multitudes that are in the value of decision yeah. in the name of Jesus. Together, let's share the goodness of the Lord in fellowship. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall do the praise of the Lord forever. Amen. Are you ready for heaven on earth? Are you sure you're ready? Now with a broad smile. Heaven on earth. And wonders without end. Help me prophetically give it to your neighbor right there. My new realm and your new realm. Congratulations. Congratulate him. It's a crisis free week. It's a week of testimonies. Come on, celebrate God. Amen. Don't forget the ministration of the anointing oil on your forehead. And a shot of it every night to go to bed. Jesus is Lord.